Good morning. I'm going to be part in a community, in a dig- indigenous community in Ecuador, in the community Anang for the next weeks. And I'm really excited how it's going to be. And I take you to my journey. Enjoy. I take you today to another normal day in the jungle. The parents, they went to the doctor. So they left with the motorcycle and the children are here. So they, they take care of each other. So the oldest one, which is here, is like, I guess she's four or something like this. That's the one. <laughs> she's taking care. She's the mommy here. And then we have these two guys here. So it's the second day and I think I have a little culture shock, you know, like these children, I mean they used to do these things, but they are basically on their own, like for example, um, she's going to bed whenever she wants, like during the day, she, um, oh no, <laughs> the chickens are like to eat the food, look what happens, there's the food, and, aha, he knew I'm coming. So she, um, when she's tired, she's going somewhere and she sleeps there. The parents are still at that point. But yeah. The rainbow flag, which you can find in all the communities, represents the indigenous communities. The colors have specific meanings. The color of red represents the deep connection between the land and its inhabitants. The orange signifies the intricate web of society and culture woven throughout the region. It represents the diversity of traditions and languages. Yellow embodies the energy and strength. It symbolizes the resilience in the face of challenges. Light yellow represents the essence of time and change, the constant cycle of seasons and evolution of tradition and customs. Green reminds on the abundant natural resources. Light blue embodies the constant water supply from rain or other sources. Blue unveils the vastness of the cosmos. It's inspiring people to seek knowledge beyond their earthly existence. Violet signifies the government and the pursuit of self-determination. After the parents returned, we started to build our new kitchen. It's like an outdoor kitchen, which has like the opportunity to, to have a fire in the middle. The fireplace is already there. So what is missing is like the, the walls, small things like building something. But the main time of the day goes into hunting, which is like gathering foods from the from the garden, more like vegetables or hunt animals in the jungle. In our garden grows mainly papagina and yucca. Um, also we plant beans and um, other fruits and vegetables, but the main food is platano. So we're gathering a lot of platanos, more or less every day. Or other types of banana, usually we harvest them green and just boil them eat, and eat them with salt. And if someone hunted an animal, everyone is more than happy to add meat or other parts of the animal to the platanes and salt instead of like dry platano every day. So having an animal is super special, like on this morning, which you're gonna see now. So he's getting ready. You can see the tail here morning today i'm in a different house from diego's brother and um yeah the concept is like every day i'm going to a different family visit them and get to know the lifestyle and they prepared breakfast for me and that's monkey the monkey got shot from snyder a 11 year old boy i hunted in the jungle so i have no idea how monkey tastes but i will figure it out in a minute Diego's breakfast is ready too. He's gonna <laughs> eat that. Look at his teeth. <laughs> That's crazy. Enjoy. Bon provecho. I'm going to try this piece of the monkey right now. Mm-hmm. It doesn't taste any special monkey flavor. Mm. Actually, it's alright. It's like 
the cow a little bit. Mm -hmm. After this very unique breakfast, I'm on the way home to to the place where I'm staying with Diego, and I'm just going to this other family's for dining, or if I can have something. But now I'm gonna have this year weeding because we want to get the yucca clean and harvest some. Yucca is a root, and I think it tastes similar to potato. It's my favorite food in the jungle. I haven't showed you the new kitchen. Kitchen. Yes, a new kitchen. Um, so we built like this yesterday, probably you have seen. So it's, it's just only a place for cooking. So we got to the new. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh -huh. the cacao blanco. Mm -hmm. Miguel. Ah, sí. Esto es una yuca. Ah. Yuca. Gracias. So that's a new kitchen. And we always have the fireplace going on here. Diego is opening the wakampa with the machete. It's exciting for everyone because this is a rare fruit and super tasty. So first after opening, we get rid of the skin, which is around the cacao beans. It's really slimy and hard to get rid of so you need to have a specific technique like you can see the children are very good i was super slow but when you get it once it's getting easier afterwards you put it on a stick uh, above a fireplace let it like roasting a little bit and it's super delicious in the next video we'll see more of our hunting and harvesting how we have lizard for lunch and what rituals and traditions we follow in the community thank you for watching hope to see you next week